Hello friends, it's me, and today, Mr. Beast Money Guide. Let's check out how to monetize your videos and make lots of YouTube money. Dollar, 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 dollar. <laughs> From Mr. Beast, together, let's go. I was thinking to this gameplay starts my first video on day, oh. and I noticed that it's been a while since I made a video about YouTube money. I mean, I pretty much built my entire fan base, if what I have is considered a fan base, off of talking about YouTube money. So what better way to bring... Well, to be fair, you improved a lot, like 200 million strong. More than that, actually. Mm. Bring it back, then by talking about partnerships and monetization. Just before I say anything, if you get into any legal trouble because of taking advice off of this video, it is not my fault. Really, you're just stupid for basing your financial income off of what some random teenager on YouTube told you. Seriously though, if you get into any legal trouble because of following this video, send me an email to the court address so I can, uh, you know, sit in the court and just laugh at you because you're a freaking idiot. So here's the million dollar question. How do you get money off of your videos? Monetization. Plain and simple, that is pretty much every YouTuber's best friend. Wait. Mm -hmm. And by the time that he's making this video, his channel already has more than 2.1k subscribers. More than that. And for me right now, I have more than 2.5k subscribers. But yet, I have not monetized my channel. I want to monetize my channel after I reach 10k subscribers. What is monetization? Monetization means that you authorize the presence of advertisements on your videos and YouTube charges advertisers for these and also shares the fees with you, allowing you to make some money from people viewing your videos. So advertisers pay YouTube, YouTube gets the money, puts the ad on your video and then gives you part of the money the advertisers paid. Pretty simple, right? Now, how do you get this monetization feature? You either have to partner with YouTube or partner with some gaming network if you're a gaming channel. By the way, I forgot to mention this video is for gaming channels only. Everything I say is for for gamers, like people who do Call of Duty videos or whatever type of videos float your boat. So we'll start off with the first one. Can you partner with YouTube if you do video game content? Yes, surprisingly you actually can. I'm going to be reading word for word off of the YouTube help page. This is YouTube's official statement regarding video game and software content. It says, hmm, That's right, it is very possible. Video game content may be monetized, 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 sorry about that, if the associated step-by-step -step commentary is strictly tied to the live action being shown and provides instructional or educational value. So let's say you're a Let's Player and you play this game and you upload it to YouTube. And for the most part during the video, the main thing you were talking about, the main subject was the game itself. You were giving commentary and you were talking about the game itself for the most part and you upload it to YouTube. Yes, you can partner with YouTube and put ads on that video because you're talking about the game and it strictly says here, if you're talking about the game when you play it, you can, you know, make money off of it. Another thing you could do when partnering with YouTube is it says you can upload video game content if the creator of the game gives you permission. Well, I can't just talk to Riot Games or Mojang or Valve or any of these big companies and just get permission to use their game. Or can I? Well, you can right now. You are the king of YouTube. The king of YouTube. Uh, you see, Mojang has actually publicly given permission to people to be able to upload videos of their content onto YouTube. Oh. I'm reading straight from Mojang support right here. You are allowed to create videos of Mojang games, upload or stream from YouTube or other video game sites, and monetize those videos. It's free advertising for us, and we like watching you play our games. See, Mojang isn't stupid, and they realize that it's free advertising and actually healthy for the sales of their game. And this isn't public knowledge, because Mojang isn't the only big video game company that has done this. Most people don't know that companies like Riot Games or Valve or Mojang, all these companies have actually given out permission for you to use their video game content on YouTube, on Twitch, on other sites. This isn't public knowledge for most people. Now, having said all that- And that's one of the main reasons why you, uh, Minecraft is so popular on YouTube. Minecraft is so popular, so popular on YouTube. Uh, why would you partner with the YouTube network that will take 10, 20, 30, 40, even up to 50% of your income when you technically don't have to. And here's the biggest misconception throughout all of YouTube. People say, I partnered with the YouTube network because they get the rights from the maker of the video game which allows me to monetize my content. With the exception of Machinima and maybe one other YouTube network, these networks have never talked to any of the makers of the video game contents. They have no insider deals. They like There's so many games out there, there's no way possible that a YouTube network could have deals with all these games either way. like they. It's such a lie. Like, these YouTube networks do not have deals with the CEOs of these video game companies, and they do not get explicit rights to monetize that video game's footage. Now, after heavily bashing YouTube networks like that, I'm gonna say why I prefer to be partnered with one instead of going solo with YouTube. First off, I don't care about the money, so the YouTube network can take a part of my money. I really don't care. <laughs> 
<laughs> I've never lied so bad. Bro, bro, don't do that. In my life. I don't have- Like, try not to make too many enemies, bro. Don't do that. I have an AdSense account, and I think you have to be like 18 to make one, which you need that if you're partnered directly with YouTube. Another reason is for legal help. Now, this really only applies if you're partnered with the bigger networks. Some of these smaller networks that only have like 5k subs and just are ran by like teenagers, they ain't gonna do crap for you if you get into legal trouble. But if you're partnered with a bigger network like Machinima, TGN, uh, yada yada, networks like that, RPM, they can uh, they can help you if you get in legal trouble a little bit. I, they'll be on your side and they can help you get out of stuff and they have experience with that. And it'll be a lot better than if you're running solo trying to work with YouTube because YouTube will never reply to you. At least when you're with a network, you can, you know, add the CEO on Skype and, you know, talk with them and he can help you out. Another thing is... But having said that, this video came out nearly a decade ago, nearly 10 years ago. A lot of things have changed, a lot of things have improved. Mm. Is I'm pretty sure if you're partnered with YouTube, whenever you upload a video, YouTube has to approve it for ads or something like that. I'm not 100% sure. I've always been with the network. I don't know what it's like uh, just partnering directly with YouTube. But I'm pretty sure if you're partnered directly with YouTube, you uh, whenever you upload it, you have to wait for YouTube's approval. And they have to go through and like their content ID system, whatever, has to check it and say whether or not you can monetize it. And according to a lot of people, that system's really messed up and uh, things that you should be able to monetize, sometimes it does not let you monetize. So in conclusion, I would recommend that you partner with the network. Yeah, they're gonna take a percentage of your income and they might actually never end up doing anything for you, but just partner with the network, be on the safe side. So now that I've kind of pointed out why I think you should partner with the network, we're gonna talk about which network you should choose. Just whatever you do, please do not join a sub network of a bigger network. In case you don't know what a sub network is, let's say I go to RPM. That RPM's a really big YouTube network. I don't know if they do this, and then I play to them and start my own sub network and call it fire so then I go out with my fire YouTube network and recruit people to fire so instead of partner of instead of people partnering directly with RPM and RPM taking a percent of their money they're now partnering with RPM through me so I as a middleman get like 5% of their money and then RPM takes their normal cut partnering with a sub network does nothing for you it just is a middleman who goes out and recruits people and then takes a percentage of the income they get off their monetized videos keep in mind that no YouTube network will help you grow not Machinima, not TGN, none of these big networks, no sub network, no big network, none of these networks are going to help you grow on YouTube. They're all going to claim that they'll help you explode on YouTube and give you tons of exposure, and they won't. The only way you'll ever get the slightest bit of exposure is if they feature you on their main channel, and there's a very slim chance that that will happen. Having said that, these are the things that I look for when I'm looking for a YouTube network to apply for. These are the things that I want in my YouTube network. I want the network to be big, that way I know they at least have experience with legal trouble with video games, they at least know what they're talking about. I want good revenue share, and I want a really small contract of longevity. I want my contract to be one year under, or no contract if possible. So I'm gonna run you through the five biggest YouTube networks, or the five main YouTube networks in my opinion. Freedom, RPM, Curse, Machinima, and TGN. We'll start off with Freedom. Freedom has a 60-40 revenue split, so they keep 40% of your income. You make a thousand dollars they get 400 of it that is that is a huge no-no to me i would never partner with freedom just because of that but freedom does have a no locking contract you can leave with a 30-day notice so that is a plus to freedom rpm is the same as freedom they have a 60 40 revenue split that is just absolutely terrible but typically freedom and rpm are for the smaller channels people who are getting like a thousand views a month and have less than 500 subscribers that is when you would partner with these guys but rpm has a two-year contract so i would not i would never lock myself into a 60 40 split for two years that is just horrible if anything, just partner with Freedom because you can leave within a 30-day notice. Next up on the list is Curse. Now, Curse, in my opinion, is the best. I'm not actually partnered with them. I wish I was. I'm currently in a contract right now with my current network. I'm going to get out of it whenever I can and go apply to Curse because Curse has a 90-10 revenue split. They only take 10% of your income and you get 90% of it. That is extremely good. And to add on top of that, they have no locking contract. You can literally leave whenever you want, but I don't see why you'd ever want to leave if you're getting 90% of your income. That is definitely the highest I've ever seen out of any YouTube network. Of course, though, Curse requires that you get a decent amount of views every month, so that is one downside. If you're a smaller channel, you can't yet apply to them. You're going to probably apply to Freedom, and then, you know, once you get big enough, leave Freedom, and then go apply to Curse because you get more money off of them. The next two are Machinima and TGN. I know nothing about these two networks. I never even applied to them. But uh, Machinima supposedly has a 50-50 split and does require a contract. That's just what I read online. I read a couple of reviews on Machinima's partnership, and both reviews said that it was a 50-50 split 
and obviously that's just terrible. I don't even have to say anything about it, but I doubt that's actually true, but that's what I read online is that it's a 50-50 split. I don't know. Maybe someone who's actually partnered with Machinima can verify that in the comment section. And I want to emphasize again, this video came out around 10 years ago, so a lot of things have changed. And then TGN has a 70-30 split, which is not horrible, but that's still way too much money with contract. And uh, those are the five top YouTube networks, in my opinion. And I just ran you through why I wouldn't partner with them. But uh, obviously, you probably have your own opinions. And there are other things that factor in besides contract and revenue split. But to me, those are the biggest things. So to summarize the entire video, technically, you can partner with YouTube and still monetize your content as long as you're doing Let's Plays and primarily talking about the video game in your commentary over the game. Or you can partner with the YouTube network. Technically, though, you're not supposed to monetize stuff unless it's, you know, you're not supposed to monetize a video game unless you're talking about the game. But if you're partnered with a YouTube network, generally they turn, you know, a blind eye. They just ignore it because obviously you're making money off of it. And uh, as long as you don't talk negative about a game, as long as you don't use uh, copyrighted music, as long as you're not uploading hacks about a game, you should never really get a copyright strike whenever you upload a game. Even if you don't have um, permission off their website to use it, because not all games do get permission, as long as it's not like a hack or uh, just you cursing a bunch and just bashing the game, generally the publishers won't care. I mean, it's just free advertising, and so many people do it, I doubt you'll ever get in any legal trouble. There's a 99.9% .9 chance that you'll never go to court for uploading video game content, even if you don't have permission. The worst thing that's going to happen is get a copyright strike, and the best way to avoid that is, like I said, just don't do hack videos, don't be stupid, and uh, most you know video game companies don't care. So I tried to lay everything out there, and like I said, some of this might not be true, Please, if anything I said in this video was false, correct me in the comment section. I'll throw an annotation up on the video. And that's pretty much everything. Hope you enjoyed and let me know what you think. I think that things have changed for the better over the past few years. Note one more time, I need to emphasize again and again and again. Right now it's the year 2024. This video came out around 10 years ago, nearly a decade ago. Things have changed. Things have improved, have grown, have developed. For the better. Well, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you find this video quite interesting to watch. Subscribe. Thank you.